All right, so non-manifold edges, contiguous edges, zero faces, etc. these things are largely handled. I'm left with the issue of thin faces. Thin faces are Blender having raising caution flags, basically, for the ability of a 3D printer to be able to actually print something that fine. So that's kind of where it's at. Now, the thing is, Blender doesn't know what 3D printer you're using or how you're doing it or any of that. So this may or may not be something that you pay attention to, depending on, on what you have or know. It might be a simple matter of changing some settings. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is I can change the length from meters to millimeters. And I can maybe take this down a little bit. Let's just say 0.5, half a millimeter. Now, granted, that's extremely thin, so this may not be an appropriate solution. But simply by changing that and checking all, I might end up with less thin faces uh, that, are, that I'm warned about. Right, so you can see that simply by doing that, I took it down. Now, not necessarily the best solution in the world. Uh, depending on the project, you know, maybe there are other ways that we can deal with this. Maybe I can scale everything up slightly. Or maybe the proportions of this part of the model aren't significant and maybe I can cheat a little bit. So maybe I go into x-ray mode and I just go ahead and I uh, push S to scale it and we'll do it on X and we'll scale it to 1.5. And then we'll do a scale on Y as well for 1.5 and see how that changed things. Again, a bit of a cheat, but depending on the scope of the project and what the expectations are, maybe it's an appropriate solution. Now, I've still got a warning for 36 thin faces, so I haven't fixed it more, but the point is, uh, with a little bit of tweaking, oh, this can be handled. Or maybe it's a matter of just going in and looking at the specific faces and making a few changes to some of them. And maybe I can just make those individual faces a little bit bigger. Um, so yeah, it's really just kind of a matter of perspective. And then the final thing that I'll make note of is the overhanging faces. Uh, if we take a look at those, well, these are at the bottom. And again, this may or may not be something that's particularly relevant. Uh, the overhanging faces is just Blender raising possible concerns about how this item might be sitting on the build plate when you're doing a 3D print job. So sometimes you can disregard it. It does not know how you're necessarily going to be putting things on the build plate. Or, you know, maybe this geometry will be fine. Or, or you know, maybe um, we decide that since this is going to be sitting flat on a table anyway, uh, I could just flatten out the, the bottom. You know, who knows? There's, again, it's a matter of you deciding what the expectations are for the project, how this thing is actually going to print, uh, and taking it from there. Uh, so I'm going to stop at this point. If I get into anything more specific for printing, I think that'll just be a different set of videos.